Hi everyone, uh, Kathy Cossack here to show you another cooking demo. I work at Headland Center for the Arts, which is an artist residency program um, just over the Golden Gate Bridge in the Marin Headlands. Um, today I am going to cook one of my favorite pasta sauces, pasta puntanesca. Uh, pasta puntanesca is, a, is great because one, it's delicious, and two, it's a sauce that comes together with all pantry shelf-stable items. Um, you might already have everything in your pantry right now, um, or you could go to your grocery store or corner store, um, grab everything and just have everything on hand for your next pasta craving. Um, so why don't I go ahead and show you, I'll walk you through the different ingredients that you're gonna need. Um, first, um, what you're gonna need is olive oil, um, a can of sliced or diced tomatoes, um, olives, I chose, um, I like katamala olives, pitted and then sliced long ways. And also you'll need capers, um, a little bit, about a pinches, pinch worth of red pepper flakes, sliced garlic, um, Italian flat leaf parsley, and one of my favorite ingredients, or my favorite ingredient in this sauce is um, anchovy fillets. Um, it will be about a half a can's worth for this amount that we're making. But also, if you want to make um, this sauce vegetarian, feel free to omit the um, anchovies and it is still super delicious. And then, of course, your dried pasta um, of choice and um, some grated cheese, if you have that, because who doesn't want cheese on their pasta? So, we are going to start by um, putting our heat onto about medium. And first is to add um, your garlic. And so what we're looking for here is um, just to get the garlic about um, a little aromatic, just so it starts sizzling a bit. Um, not looking for like any color um, on here, just so you, when you start smelling the garlic. Um, and be gentle with your garlic, you don't want it to burn at this stage. smelling um, the garlic and I'm going to add my anchovies next. And what you're looking for at this stage is for the anchovies just to melt um, and turn into like a little bit of a brown mush. Um, and next is your red pepper flakes, just about a pinch. Um, if you don't like spicy, just add a little bit of red pepper flakes, but if you like spicy, like go for it. Big pinch of red pepper flakes. And now I can see that my anchovies have kind of like melted a bit. Um, and so this is the perfect time to add Next, your capers. And then, your katamala olives. And now we're just gonna let them hang out for a little bit, um, just to kind of get off to know each other. And um, the next step is to your can of tomatoes. And then mix that up. So what I did when I boiled my pasta, and one of my favorite tricks for um, making sauces, and making pasta sauces, is I save a little bit of the cooking liquid that I cooked the pasta in. Um, or the water, the starchy, starchy water. Um, this is a great way of making a sauce go further if you don't have enough sauce on hand um, for the amount of people that you're cooking for, or uh, maybe you didn't, you didn't make as much sauce as you expected for the amount of noodles that you boiled. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water here. And we're just waiting for this to up to a simmer. Um, and when it comes 
comes to the type of noodle that I like for pasta puttanesca, um, I always, with pasta puttanesca, um, always go with um, a dried pasta noodle. Um, because you're cooking with all shelf-stable um, items from your pantry, so why not also use a shelf-stable um, pasta noodle? It just kind of makes sense. They all go together. Um, but my favorite noodle um, for this sauce is bucatini, which is a, a wider pasta sauce, a wider pasta noodle um, that has a little hole down the middle of it, and so it's perfect for slurping up your sauces. But unfortunately, I couldn't find it at my corner store. They were all out. Um, but they did have a thin a spaghetti noodle, um, which is just fine. Now I see that this has all kind of come up together. If you have time, um, this would like to hang out. Um, you can let it cook down a little bit more, add more water. Um, but also if you're like really hungry and you just need that pasta right away, like I do right now, I'm quite hungry, I'm going to, um, this is all good to go. Um, and before adding my noodles, I am going to add my Italian flat leaf parsley. It was about a hand's full worth. And I have my noodles already cooked and ready over here. Oh wait, before we add our noodles, we have to do the most important part is to taste the sauce. Mm. Um, and what's important to remember with this sauce is with a lot of the ingredients that you're using, they're already pretty salty, like the cardamom olives, the capers, the anchovies. So most likely, you're not going to have to add any salt. Um, like I just um, tested it and tasted it, and it. Um, it did, it already tasted seasoned enough for me, but it's also always good to check. Um, so, now that this is ready, I'm going to add my noodles. And there you have it, uh, a super quick, but most importantly, delicious pasta that is just at your fingertips waiting in your pantry, uh, Pasta Puntanesca. Go to our website, headlands.org, to find the full detailed instructions and ingredient list. Um, looking forward to cooking with you all next time. Bye.